Welcome to New Techno News Channel. Please don't forget to support us by subscribing and liking the video. NATO is strengthening the Army of Poland, which is the eastern border of NATO, against Russia. In this context, Poland will purchase 250 Abrams tanks. In my video, I will introduce you to the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank, MBT. The M1A2 Abrams main battle tank is a further development of the M1A1. Currently it is one of the best MBTs in the world. Development of improved M1A1 began in 1988. About 1,200 to 1,500 M1A2 main battle tanks were delivered to the U.S. Army. Out of this number approximately 1,000 outdated M1 main battle tanks were upgraded to the M1A2 standard. It is planned that this tank will remain in service beyond 2050. The M1A2 has been exported to Kuwait, 218, and Saudi Arabia, 457. The Abrams is protected by Chobham composite armor. Protection of the M1A2 was improved by using depleted uranium mesh at the front of the hull and turret. It offers significant protection against all known anti-tank weapons, however overall weight increased comparing with the M1A1. Protection of the M1A2 Abrams is considered as one of the best in the world. All active service M1A1 tanks have been retrofitted with depleted uranium armor. M1A2 tanks supplied to Kuwait and possibly Saudi Arabia have downgraded armor without depleted uranium layers. Ammunition for the main gun is stored in the turret bustle, fitted with blowout panels. Interior is lined with Kevlar liner for protection against spalling. The M1A2 Abrams can be fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks. Some M1A2 tanks are equipped with missile countermeasure devices, intended to detect and jam guidance of the laser-guided missiles. Vehicle is armed with the M256 120mm smoothbore gun, originally developed by Rainmetal and manufactured under license in USA. This gun is loaded manually. Such gun loading system is more reliable than autoloaders used on some other tanks. The M1A2 has an improved fire control system and its components. Range of effective fire in excess of 4 kilometers. The M1A2 has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer capability. Many tanks produced in the early 90s lack this capability. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, another 7.62mm machine gun mounted over the gunner's hatch and 12.7mm machine gun mounted over commander's hatch. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The M1A2 Abrams is powered by Avco Lycoming, now Honeywell, AGT 1500 gas turbine engine, developing 1500 horsepower. Essentially it is a modified helicopter engine, adapted for use on tanks. It is a multi-fuel engine, which can run on any grade of petrol, diesel, aviation fuel or kerosene. This engine has impressive performance and is compact for its power output. So even though the Abrams tank is heavy and bulky, it is surprisingly agile. It is faster than many other tanks and has superior cross-country performance. Also, the engine is remarkably quiet. Due to this feature the Abrams is even nicknamed the Whispering Death. Its gas turbine engine has servicing intervals significantly longer than those of diesel engines, however is troublesome to maintain and has very high fuel consumption comparing with diesels. Engine can be replaced in field conditions within 30 minutes. This main battle tank can be airlifted by a C-5 Galaxy or C-17 Globemaster 3 military transport aircraft.